Hello and welcome to Revise GCSE History. This video is designed to give you a quick introduction to the website and to tell you a bit more about what the site is all about. OK, so what is this website all about? I am an as aspiring history teacher and I have produced this website to make GCSE history revision easier for you guys. When I revised GCSE history, there was no sort of revision guide like there was for science, maths or other subjects. I had like five or six exercise books to go through, make notes from, and textbooks, and there were revision guides, but I don't think they were very good, and they told me a lot more than I actually needed to know. So this website is designed for GCSE history students to help with their revision. The website tells you exactly what you need to know, nothing more, nothing less. So you're learning everything that's going to be on the exam and nothing that won't be required. So I'm going to produce revision materials for GCSE History Schools History Project and that is combat compatible with a few different exam boards. We're going to speak more about that in a minute. So the topics I'll be producing resources for because there are many different topics you can study as part of the school's history project but the ones I have chosen and probably the most common are for the development study medicine through time that's what we're going to study and for the depth study the American West 1840-1895 I'm not going to do the modern world study which is your coursework because there's sort of far too many options for that so at present I'm not going to do that but in the future maybe I might look into that and producing resources for that on a few different topics. So development study, medicine, depth study, American West. For the development study some people do crime and punishment through time although it's not a very popular thing and to be honest I don't know very much about that. For the depth study some people do Germany some people do Elizabethan England, but the most common is the American West. So hopefully my resource will work for you guys. So this is the website here. I'm just going to pull this up. There we are. So that's the home page of the website. So when you go on it, you see the links to all these different pages here. So that's the website. We're going to be looking more at what's on the website throughout the video. OK. So I've speak... I've already sort of spoken about how my resources are going to be compatible with a few different exam boards so what exam boards am I actually talking about here then so here we are these are the course books that I'm going to use to make the videos these are the textbooks that I base my videos on they're in sort of the same order and they contain much of the same information where my resources are different from these textbooks is that these textbooks often tell you a little more than you need to actually know if you look at the exam specification and my videos are going to tell you exactly what you need to know if you came to revise from a textbook you'd notice all different sources you know historical sources activities you know you don't want any of that when you come to revising you want it concise simple and clear so these are the two course books I'm going to be using so on the front cover of the course books it does tell you what examples they work with. So if we look at this one, that says OCR in AQA. And this one is OCR, AQA and Edexcel. So I don't know why that's compatible with Edexcel and this isn't. Maybe somebody can tell me that. But basically the videos I'm going to produce are, comp are compatible with OCR, AQA and the American West I think with Edexcel although you can probably use the medicine with Edexcel so they're sort of the three main exam boards any other exam boards the resources may be compatible but I'm not aware of that so you might need to check your exam specification very carefully to see where my resources are helpful so OCR, AQA, Edexcel there we are That's who we're really compatible with here. So next thing we're going to look at is the revision videos that are going to be on the website. These revision videos on medicine and American West are the main focus of the website. So each video is concise. 
this concise revision videos on each area of the exam specification. The length of the video ranges from 2 minutes to 20 minutes, so some may be very quick videos and some may be a bit longer. And although I think I've covered every sort of area of the specification, if you notice a particular subtopic that you think I've missed out, just bob me an email to say, look, I think you've missed this, can you do a video in on it? And there's no problem with that. I'll get that done. So each video starts off by telling you what you need to know for the certain topic, and then at the end of each video I try and do a little like, summary, and then a little quiz like make sure you know the key points, quiz questions, just to check that you're understanding everything. So the revision videos are all put on this page of the website here. Here you can see a giant list of videos that my website is going to cover. There you are. They're all the video. Well, there's more actually. I'd, that's just a screenshot of the page. But if you were to scroll down, you'd see more and more videos. So they can be found on the revision videos page of the website. And as I said here, there are 70. Oops, there are 70 revision videos that are free for you to use. Next sort of point about the website are the different revision resources that we have on there. So there are a complete set of course notes on both topics. When I say both topics, I mean American West and also the medicine topics. Each document is 17 pages in length, 17 A4 pages on both, sorry, the separate American West medicine, 17 pages each. How I've produced them, I've gone through the textbook, taken out the key points from each of the pages and then condensed them down as much as possible so that you have a concise set of revision notes to work from. The textbooks are about sort of 150 pages in length, so I've not done bad really to condense them down to 17 pages. You may want to print the notes off, annotate them, you know, highlight key points, or even condense them down further. So they tell you exactly what you need to. There are also revision flashcards on both American West and Medicine. The flashcards have been made from the course notes. Basically what I've done is, in a document, I've done a grid and copy and pasted key-like points from the notes onto little revision cards. These revision cards can be printed off, cut up, hole punched on the corner, put a piece of string through them, and you can flick through them whenever you've got a minute just to go over all your history knowledge. So basically, the same information is in the course notes and revision flashcards, they're just in different formats. As I know, people prefer notes on an A4 page, and some people prefer to have little flashcards giving you like a tiny little bit of information at a time, making it more manageable. On the website, we also have individual notes to go with each of the videos. So for every video you watch, there's a PDF with notes in it from the video. All I've done here is each slide in my video, when I finish doing the video, and it's been slightly annotated like you can see I've done here, I've print screened each slide of the video and put them into a Word document. And at the side, there was some space to make your own notes, add your own key points, and then you can print off, highlight them. So they're quite helpful helping to give an overview of each video. And also I'm going to be uploading some other resources, you know, the general things to help with your history of vision. So here's the next bit here then. The members zone. Although the revision videos and the revision materials are free to every for everyone to use, I have built a paid exclusive members zone with other revision resources in. The members zone is just five pounds to join, just a payment, a one-off payment of five pounds. What I mean by one-off is you're not paying a fiver every month. If it's a fiver, then you're a member forever. Once you've paid that initial five pounds, so it's not a rip-off. You know, I'm not charging you every month, and if you don't forget to cancel it, it's coming out of your parents' bank account. It's just one pa one-off payment of a fiver. I accept payment via PayPal and other means, such as credit or debit card, and you can pay on the website. There's a page here about becoming a member on the website, 
and on there you can actually there's a little buy now PayPal button you can use to pay that page on the website gives you more information so see the become a member page which we just looked at although the members zone is great you know really useful I must stress that it's, it is for OCR GCSE history course only the members zone is not for AQA not for Ad Excel so if you know, if you don't do history with OCR I wouldn't actually bother becoming a member so I don't think it will be beneficial to you because there is a slight variation in the way exams are done it's just for OCR candidates this so what's in this members zone I've talked about it and becoming a member but what's in it let's have a look so there are exam question walkthrough videos and what I mean by that I get an exam question look at the mark scheme side by side and I'd be telling you what you need to get to get a certain mark in that answer so you may have done past papers before looked at the mark schemes and think mm, I don't really know what I'd have to do to get full marks on this question my exam walkthrough videos will give you a clear walkthrough of how to score full marks on those exam, exam questions I'm also gonna have exam technique videos these videos give you advice on how to answer the different types of questions for OCR history we have five seven and eight mark questions and before you go into the exam you really need to know and have a clear idea a clear idea of how to answer these types of questions to score the best possible mark and I'm going to be producing videos for the members zone based upon that there's also videos on planning Eurovision so how to plan Eurovision how to it might seem like common sense but lots of candidates find it really difficult to plan revision and I'm just going to be giving you some tips on that and actually some revision advice too which I think has helped me over the years there is also you gain access to 135 past exam questions and mark schemes that I've put together for you finding questions to attempt can be a bit of a nightmare as you've got to go to the OCR website open all the PDFs do I want to answer that question or do I know that stuff but what I've done for you I've got a word document and over six pages there are 135 exam paper questions I've condensed all the past papers down into one document so they're all there for you if we just for a minute look what the member zone looks like once you become a member and log in once you become a member sorry I'll send you an email telling you your unique login and password and once you log in it's a protected page you may notice you get this screen here and then each of these are navigation buttons you can click to navigate your way through the members zone so I think that's really worthwhile and could really help to improve your history grade just becoming a member but remember it's for let me just stress this because it's so important it's for OCR history only another service you may notice on the website is the marking service so this is designed if you've ever done a GC, GCSE history past exam paper question and not known how well you've done so you look at the mark scheme but think um, does my answer match the mark scheme is it you know not as good what mark should I give myself so I've now set up a marking service where you can have your past exam paper question attempts marked by someone who has knowledge in the subject and experience in marking so what you do you submit your answers to these questions typed up or handwritten so if you're going to type it up send it me in like a word document or similar you know that sort of thing or a PDF if you prefer to handwrite that's no problem scan in your answer on line paper and email it me as a PDF there is a charge for this service and you can pay by PayPal and other means just gonna look at the price list here then here we are so there's the price for one question varies based on how many questions you want to buy you might think looking at these prices it seems quite expensive at first but this is because marking accurately is very time-consuming and it's not a quick process to do it takes time but I think if you sort of maybe bought just five questions to be marked that could really help you to improve your exam technique which is essential to hit the highest grades in the exam as you may notice there's a members discount this is a discount on the normal price for members only
Although it's not too expensive for non-members too. But this also might be worth becoming a member to get the discount on this. So that's our marking service. What you do, if you once you've bought those credits, you can pay by PayPal and other means. You go onto the OCR website, look at these past papers here, select a question you'd like to attempt, then email me your answer with the question in it too. And this marking service is for OCR GCSE history only. As is the member zone, it's only OCR. This is because each exam board varies slightly and the OCR is really the only one I know how to mark. So if you're AQA history, don't, whatever you do, buy any credits for the marking service. There's a page on the website all about the marking service. Oh, we'll just delete that. What a bodge. Don't matter then. There's a page on the website that tells you more about the marking service and you may want to read all this information here before doing so. So, oops, what have I done here? What have I done? Sorry, I've really messed this up, haven't I? I don't know. Sorry about this. There was a box behind here. There we are. So this is what you get. When you submit an answer to be marked, I give it a mark that it would be likely to get in the exam. I give it the grade that would be awarded, the grade that this mark converts to. And you also comment on how well you've done and give you a few tips as how you can improve your answer. I must just say though that the mark given to your answers through the marking service is not guaranteed the mark you will get in the exam, it's just an estimation. The marking service is really worthwhile just to get the comments on what you've done well and the tips as, I, as to how you can improve. Don't be too sort of don't be too put off by the marks you're given or you know, it's more about the feedback you're getting on your answers. Okay. Another service I run is the online tutoring service. So this is particularly particularly useful if you're struggling with a certain area of GCSE history. It's priced quite competitively and definitely cheaper than most face-to-face -face tutors. I'm available for online tutoring via Skype and other instant messaging services and just really get in touch to discuss further. There's a page on my website here that gives a bit of information about it, but really the main message here is contact me if you're interested and want to find out more, as I can tell you more information. So my Skype address here, I'll just give it you now, whoops, is Revised GCSE History. Just type that in Skype, have a chat about the service. Q&A videos, this is another free, no-cost service that I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to be regularly making question and answer videos to make other people aware of any questions that people may ask about GCSE history. So if you've got a question about the course or the subject content, email me with your question and request that your question appears in one of my Q&A videos. Here's my email address here, revisedgcsehistory at gmail.com and here is a page on my website that gives a bit more information about the question and answer videos. So regularly I'll be making videos where I've got a flip chart, I've got a question from a user of my website and, and I'm giving them the answer to their question so other people can benefit from them asking the question too. Essentially it's just like you're putting your hand up in the lesson and asking the teacher a question so everybody else can hear the answer. So that's sort of the end of the introduction now to revisedgcsehistory.co.uk but GCSEs can be tough, especially revising for them. So this this slide here just gives you some advice about other help with, G, with your GCSEs. Like I've produced this website for GCSE history, there are other e-learning websites out there for other subjects. I'm not currently aware of another history e-learning website. I think this is, to be honest, the first one that does the revision videos. But there are also some in other subjects. So these are some of my favourites for English, Science and Maths. So English here, mrbruff.co.uk is fantastic. I think it's amazing, this website. Mr. Bruff is really helpful. It's run by a guy called Andrew Bruff. He needs revision videos on GCSE English Language and English Literature for AQA English. That's a really good website to go to if you want some help with that. Next one, for science, 
MyGCSEScience.com is fantastic. It's run by a, go a guy called Kishore, who's an assistant head teacher in a London school. And he gives revi revision videos free on the website for AQA GCSE Science. And I've been told that that's a great website to use. One that you could use for maths is maths. Well, m for th I won't attempt to pronounce that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so basically, it looks like maths. That's it there. M for ths. dot com, and this is the website he's produced here, and that's got absolutely loads of revision videos on for GCSE and also A level maths if you're struggling with a particular area of maths. So these are my some. These are some of the, my favourite e-learning websites, and if I'm lucky, these three guys might give me a mention in their videos, maybe. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see on that one. So, donating. All the revision videos on the website are created in my, three t my free time, and the more money I receive through donations, the longer I'll spend on the site making it better for you guys. Donating helped to cover my costs. A lot of the resources on the website, such as the videos, which are very time consuming to make, and the revision resources are free for use. So donating helps me to cover my cost of website hosting, domain names, all that sort of stuff. So if you found the website useful, please consider making a donation. There is this donate button at the bottom of every page of the website. Please have a look at that if you think you found it useful. And this takes you, when you click this button, it takes you through to a PayPal page here where you can choose the amount you donate. Even if it's just a couple of pounds, that would be really helpful in covering my costs. It may seem as if I'm just after your money on this website, as I've got the online tutoring service, the marking service, the members zone, but I'm really not. Those services that are provided that are paid for help to cover my costs of producing the website to give the free revision videos and revision materials. So donating would really help me, because I'm not making a load of money from this. And finally, good luck with your GCSE history. Make sure you enjoy it. I loved it. If you've got any problems or anything, want any advice, got any questions or anything like that, you can contact me at revisedgcsehistory at gmail.com. I really do help your, you find this website useful, and if you do... Please, whoops, sorry, that wasn't brilliant, was it? And if you do find it useful, please do tell your friends. The more people that, that use this website for GCSE History Revision, the better. Tell your teachers, they can recommend it to the whole class. And I'd like to have some testimonials. What I mean by that is if you found the website useful for your revision, uh, write me an email with your food comments about the website, and I'd love to have a page on the website giving some testimonials and feedback from users to encourage other users. And finally, here are my, some, some of my favourite quotes to help get you motivated to revise and do well academically. The only place success comes before work is in the dictionary. Certainly true, one of my favourite quotes of all time. And another quote from one of my favourite characters in history in general, Winston Churchill, is success consists of going from failure to failure without loss of enthusiasm. So there we are, that's the end of the video today then. I hope this video gives you a nice introduction to the website and tells you a bit more about what the website is all about. I really do help you hope you found the website useful and thank you for watching today.